haul in general was super random and rather unexpected. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Basically, this past week we found out that the author, the mangaka of Berserk, passed away, Kentaro Mira, um, rest in peace. Um, I've been recommended to read Berserk for the longest freaking time, like the longest time. And I've always had the series in my cart, um, but of course after the passing of the author, um, uh, the prices skyrocketed. Um, so I went into my local Barnes & Noble and I was able to find volume two. Volume one is gone, so I will have to get my hands on it at one point because um, I do want to read it. Everyone said it's a really good dark manga um, and I love dark manga. I love all manga in general, but um, really excited about this. Obviously it's wrapped because it's parental advisory. Everyone said it's really, really dark and I don't know too much about it. Um, so I'm excited to collect more of this. I wanna get at least the first three volumes before I make an assumption on if I should collect any more. But like I said, volume one is very, very hard to come across right now for a normal price. So I just gotta wait a little bit, but um, very sad to hear that um, the author has passed. Um, but that is, that is the first volume of today's haul. Then I um, found Fruits Basket as well at um, my local Barnes & Noble. This is volume four. I have one, two, three, and five. So now I'll have the first five volumes. Um, I wanted to just at least start with the first five, although I would love to collect this entire series. Right now, um, I've mentioned this previously, so I don't want to talk too much on it, but I'm currently watching the final season and I have legit cried every single episode so far. It's been crazy. It's such a deep, um, deep series. Um, it's a drama for sure. So I highly recommend it, the book um, and, the, and the manga. Um, and then, Super, super random. I picked up four volumes of Horimiya. Um, oh my gosh, do I have another one of this? No. Oh my gosh, I have a double. I knew this was gonna happen to me. Okay, so this one I already have. I'll have to take this one back. Um, I found volumes four, six, and 14. Oops, I was out of focus for a little bit. Sorry about that. Four, six, and 14. Um, I already have one, three, five, 10, and 12. So unfortunately I will have to take this one back, so I'll have to make sure to save the bag. Oh, and receive. This actually literally happens to me way too often. I always have to remember before I go shopping to take a picture of like all my manga or like a video or something. Because yeah, this like I said, that happens way too often. <laughs> oh god. Alright, whatever. Then I also picked up um, volume 10 of Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, this was a pre-order. I did have it arriving from Amazon on June 1st. Today is, what is today? Today is April, oh, it's not April, oh my God. Today is May 29th, so I was gonna wait a couple of days for it to just arrive um, in the mail, but since it was there, I figured I'd just pick it up because I have no patience whatsoever and no self-control. Um, I really like this volume cover. I've got some pink in there, if I believe. If I'm correct, this is Mekamaru, um, and then it kind of goes more into his story, which I really, really love his story, how he's um, controlling the mech from um, a different location because of his um, condition. Um, I really like that. I think he's a really neat character. Um, so that is volume 10 of Jujutsu Kaisen. And then I picked up volume five of Chainsaw Man. Um, love this cover. They do so well with the covers being like neon and like super, super cool and like uh, really colorful and stuff. Believe it or not, I still have not read this. I actually just started volume one. I just barely started it. Like I'm talking like I'm on the first two pages, but since everyone raves this th that this is so good, I obviously like want to collect the whole series and plus it's going to be animated. So um, yeah, I was able to get my hands on this and I'm really excited about it. Okay, today we did get um, Requiem of the Rose King volume six in. Um, most of the covers are really, really cool. I mean, I really like this one as well. Um, Super neat, but this guy just looks a little bit ghostly. <laughs> um, let me show you the other ones in comparison. 
This is five. That's four, three, and then one. Volume two is going to be sent at some point, but I think it'll take a couple of weeks. Hopefully, I mean, I actually do think it'll make it in this video. But once we get volume two, we'll be able to see that the spines go back and forth between red and white, which I think is really unique and I really like that. So yeah, volume six. Okay, so today we received um, same day release. Just kidding, it came out yesterday. Today is June 2nd, um, but June 1st was obviously Memorial Day. Um, but we have Yona of the Dawn volume 30. Now, obviously, as you can see, I have all of the Yona of the Dawn volumes. Every single one I'm up to date. So now I just snag a volume every single time it's released. The um, manga, like the actual volumes are way behind. The manga in itself digitally is like, I think an entire arc ahead, an arc or two to be exact. I think it's two, maybe even three arcs. I don't know. But like, um, it's very, very far behind. I'm super excited to pick up even more Yona of the Dawn copies. It's going to have so many volumes I'm so excited about. Um, basically, this volume, the cover is amazing. I love Hawk and Yona. This is by far, like, if anyone asks me what my favorite manga is of all time, it's Yona of the Dawn. Like, as you can see, I've collected all the volumes. Like, of course, it's my favorite. Um, but this specific volume is super, super important. If anyone is following the story, this series holds, or this volume holds a spoiler, and I'm going to insert the spoiler now. Um, so if you are not up to date with the manga, do not look. Are you ready? There we go. The scene that we've all been waiting for. The unrequited love is now requited. <laughs> um, so, yeah. This is a very special, special volume and I love it and I love the story and soon there's gonna be an update on the monthly um, chapter release, which I'm really excited about, but I think out of all of these, this is obviously going to be one of the volumes that holds a place in my heart because of that specific scene. And just with all of these volumes, you can see how much tension and like how much um, unrequited love has taken place. <laughs> um, so for final, finally for volume 30 to have that um, dramatic scene, it, it's like everything. <laughs> All right, today we got in the mail um, Blackbird Volume 1. Um, I got it from Wonder Book, so this is a used one. It's not like the most white pages, but this is, um, like I said before, a very uh, classic uh, manga. As you can see, the art is a little bit more on the classic side. Um, I do have Volume 2. I don't remember if I ordered Volume 3 yet or if I was just gonna wait. Um, on that um but this is the volume two once again you can tell it's a like a, I almost, it almost looks like a freaking library book but they're on the older side um this is volume two um this is a little bit more on the fantasy side so they were childhood friends from what i remember i mean obviously i can read the back of it but um they were childhood friends and then later on um they meet up or they reunite or they have like a reunion and she finds out that he's a part of like this mythical world of like demons and stuff. And she has like special blood, I think. And so like his clan wants to get claim on her because by her being a part of their clan, like I think it makes them more powerful or something like that. So he, I, like I think he acts a little bit like a, a douche in this series. That's what I'm gathering. I could be completely wrong, but I am excited to read this. Um, I think, I, ha I can't really like uh, relate it to any other series that I've read, so I think it will be pretty unique. Um, but yeah, there's that. Okay, so I just opened three packages. Um, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and show 
um, Blackbird Volume 3. Um, I did just recently complete Volumes 1 and 2 of this. Um, and then I did some research and found out that um, there, it's completed at 18 volumes. So I actually went ahead and purchased all 18. They should arrive um, sometime Monday or Tuesday in a couple of days. Um, and I'm so excited. They should be a part of this haul. It's gonna be a huge haul. Um, but I actually really liked it. And honestly, if you look online at the covers, all of the covers look actually beautiful. Um, I'll showcase them when they come in, of course, but I really liked volume one and two. Um, it's a pretty unique story. I can't think of anything that I've read that's similar to this, so really excited to see where this goes. And now I have volume three that I can um, uh, finish today as well. So that is Blackbird volume three. And then I got Requiem of the Rose King Volume 7. I'm still waiting on Volume 2. I started at Volume 1 and I um, obviously I haven't gone past Volume 1 because Volume 2 hasn't made it in yet. I did order it. Um, it was slightly expensive because it's kind of hard to come across. Um, I got it probably around like $18, um, but I think it's worth it. And then I went ahead and since I already have 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 now, I ordered 8 through 13 because um, this series is completed at 13. So hopefully that will come in Monday or Tuesday as well and it'll be a part of this haul. Then I can show you all the volume covers. I think for both of these series I'm actually really excited at how amazing the art is for the volume covers. Um, so that's part of the reason that I really wanted to collect them but both of them are like pretty much gems when it comes to manga. Um, they're both like classic, like ones that you don't really see a lot of people talk about. They mainly talk about mainstream manga, so like I'm really excited that I decided to take a chance on these. And um, after volume one, this one was really good, and after volume two, this one was really good. So I will keep you updated on both of those reads, but really happy about those. And then I have another series here that I'm actually super, super excited about. This is probably... Um, one of the most exciting ones of this haul. I got um, the Golden Sheep. Uh, it is um, a really cute story about um, this girl that had some childhood friends. She moved away and then she ended up moving back to where her childhood friends were, but it seems obviously that they have changed because everyone has grown up. Um, They've made their own experiences, things like that. So she um, comes back to find that everything changes. And to me, like, I really like that. That's so realistic. Um, so I have volumes one, which by the way, these covers are like grainy, like they're a matte feeling. So it's very, very strange. It's different, but I really, really like it. Um, this is volume one. Love the colors on that. Volume two. This one's a little bit smaller than volume one. And then there's volume three. So I'm really excited about that because it just shows um, the growth of uh, her childhood friends and then um, I don't know what that means for them, if they can um, still be friends, if they've changed too much, I don't know. But that is such an intriguing story to me that I was super happy that I was able to pick that up. Um, I feel like it's going to be a really, really good read. I hopefully hopefully will be able to complete it this weekend, and then I'll um, have a review maybe by the end of this video. Um, but yeah, super excited about those. If anyone's read any of these series, whether it's The Golden Sheep, Requiem of the Rose King, or Blackbird, um, let me know in the comments, because especially on these two, just getting on all three of them, because I feel like these are like gems that not a lot of I hear more about the golden sheep than anything else and I'm actually really excited for this one but still I feel like not a lot of people have read these two so it'll be really interesting um to see if anyone else has okay, so I wanted to do a quick review on the golden sheep I just went ahead and I finished all three volumes real quick it probably took me about a couple of hours um, but I wanted to basically touch base on how it was. Um, it was pretty much, as I summarized before, that this girl came back um, to her childhood town and she met up with her um, three childhood friends. 
they all reunited and it turns out that everyone's life was pretty much completely different. The friends weren't as close as she thought that they would be. Um, this one was actually, there. in total there were two girls, two boys. This is one of the boys, his name is Sora, and he was actually getting bullied by the other boy. Um, and he um, attempted to commit suicide, which is very sad, um, but she stopped him and then the truth came out. Um, and then the other girl ended up kind of, not fully bullying her, but uh, kind of hazing her a little bit. Um, doing them something she shouldn't have because she came back and she was like jealous of the attention that she was getting, blah blah blah. So basically, um, bullying was a part of the story, um, which was kind of sad and like childish to watch, but it very much realistic. Um, uh, and they are things that do happen in this world, so it is refreshing to see things like that um, in a series. I did think it was really good. These two ended up running away, going to Tokyo and um, taking a pause on school and working for um, her grandpa who took them in for a little bit and they decided to make it their goal to get stronger and overall the friends kind of reconnected, um, apologized and forgave one another. Um, blah blah blah. I'm not gonna like reveal the entire ending, but it was very good for a three volume series. Um, I do recommend it. I thought it was really cute. Also aesthetic wise, like the volumes are very very cute, so it'll be really cute to collect. Um, but yeah, overall I'm really happy that I got it. It was pretty much spot on from what I thought. Um, I didn't know there was gonna be so much bullying involved, but um, definitely made, makes the story as realistic as I thought it was going to be. So yep, that's my review. So today I received three books that were actually released today, um, <clears throat> same day release from Amazon, which I usually do, Amazon Prime. I got volume five of Spy Family. Um, I still have not read this, believe it or not. This and um, Chainsaw Man are on my list of series that I still need to read. I know it's really unfortunate because they're probably really good series, um, but I just keep putting it off. Um, there's just so much going on, plus I have a job. Um, but super excited about this and so now I'll have all five fam five families five volumes of spy family so there's that um and then I got Kate's Heaven volume six I have all five of the volumes so far so now I'll have the full six that um have been released so far this did come wrapped there's explicit content in here it is a triggering or sorry a triggering story so make sure um, if you're interested in this BL um, that you read um, what it entails beforehand um, I've said previously I have no filter when it comes to um, reading so I really um, thought this was an interesting series there is that case 7 volume 6 and then the one that I'm most excited about is My Dress of Darling, Volume 4. Um, something about this series I literally adore. Um, it's the art. Uh, the art style is literally beautiful. I love how the main girl character is drawn. This also came wrapped, by the way, because there's some mature content. Um, it's just her outfits are a little bit ris risque. But like the main male character is probably one of my favorite art styles ever. He has such a unique face and just the way that they drew him, but also he's just so precious because he's got this passion for making um, doll clothing. So let me see if I can find a good picture of him. I do want to read this today. This is definitely one of my favorite series. I'm going to try and find something. Um, that's not revealing. Like, this is the main girl character. She's just super, super cute. Um, and then look at him. Like, he's just adorable. Like, the blushing on the cheek. Like, they just make, like, the cutest um, panels. So, I cannot wait to read this. Um, right here, you can see I have the other three. I'm going to have to organize my shelf a little bit. But, yep, that is My Dress of Darling, Volume 4. This is a like a highly met recommend of mine. Like this is probably going to be on my favorite reads of 2021. Um, loved it, like literally loved it. Um, it's just one of the cutest uh, series that I've read. So 
definitely recommend this. Okay, I figured I would just go ahead and add this in the video. I did pick up um, the Jiu Jitsu Kaizen um, collab with Uniqlo. Um, it dropped on the 3rd. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I did purchase it right away. This is the one that I got for my friend for his birthday. Um, this is the back of the shirt, believe it or not. It kind of just has all of the characters. There's Megami, uh, Yuji, break, I forget her name. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, I can't think of their names off the top of my head. I'm reading like 40 different manga and like five, watching five different anime all at the same time. So I'm, you know, whatever. But this is the back. This is a size large. Um, I am a little bit surprised. The sizing does seem a little bit different. Um, I wonder why that is. Anyways, this is the front. It's got a JJK symbol on the front and the pocket. That is his. And although these are the same size, mine, which is behind, does seem a little bit longer, which is a little bit strange. But anyways, I got a size large because I like things oversized of the Gojo um, Satoru t-shirt. I'm super excited about this. He's not like my favorite anime character of all time, especially like in JJK. I actually like Itadori more. Um, he's just such a cute character, but this, I mean, Gojo, like you can't not like Gojo. So um, I wish they had one specific to Yuji, but since there was only a specific one to Gojo, I got that. I also really wanted one for Megami, which they had one, but they had them on the back and I wanted like the front. I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit too specific. But anyways, these are the shirts um, for the collab with Uniqlo. I feel like it's been a while since I put Haikyuu in one of my um, videos, but I have a very special surprise today and that is that Haikyuu Volume 17 finally arrived. Um, I believe the only one I'm missing now is Volume 16. Um, so this is my Haikyuu shelf. I've got these little manga panel like cards from Etsy. I think they were like five dollars. Um, they were originally on my wall over there but then I took them off and unfortunately they like effed up my wall um, which is great. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so now I put them over here, but I think it's kind of cute. Like out of like all of my shelves right here, it kind of makes like my high cue shelf like super special. Um, but now I need to rearrange this. But volume 17 is super hard to get your hands on. Um, it's probably because Oikawa is on the, I am so sorry if I just said his name weird, um, but it's probably because he's on the front um, and everyone loves him, so. That's probably why. Anyways, um, yeah, so let me rearrange the shelf real quick. Okay, so I got um, Blue Flag Volume 8 today. It was released today on the 15th of June, um, so it was same day release. I actually already read through it. Um, there was one thing that I really wanted to know. I really liked this um, art page at the end um, because this specific series, um, it's over now. It, it ends at Volume 8, and the artwork of this entire series was um, so cute. I honestly adored it like seriously all of the characters look how cute like she's just in chibi form like 24 7 and then i've i've talked about this previously but anyways i finished this book the ending was beautiful this entire series was beautiful um highly highly recommend it's a it's an ending that you wouldn't expect and the way that the author does it is very just creative and um subtle and simple and it just makes you super happy. So that is my review of Blue Flag 1 through 8. Um, and yeah, this is the other same day release that I got today, Those Not So Sweet Boys Volume 3. I have Volume 1 and 2. Um, I did just finish reading this. Um, super cute. It, the story obviously progressed um, and um, it focuses um, 
less on this character right here and more on these two. There's um, kind of talk about confession and things like that. But anyways, yeah, this was really cute. It's kind of just a slow moving story. Um, it's not that thick of a volume. Um, yeah, really, really good so far. And the last uh, thing that I got today was um, A School Frozen in Time Volume 2. I still have not read Volume 1, um, so I do need to read this. I can't uh, write a review, but um, if anyone's read this, let me know um, how you liked it. And yeah, hopefully by the time this video is posted, um, then I'll have read the series. <laughs> I literally had no clue this was coming. I really honestly think I ordered this like months ago, but this is like the volume that everyone wants. Like it was really hard to come across because I think this has, yeah, this has the scene between um, the team with the Mia twins where um, Hinata does like his crazy receive. I think, I mean, it's on the front of the cover. I could be wrong um, but this is I mean every single scene of Haikyuu I feel like it's <laughs> crazy but I didn't think I needed this one I literally was telling someone the other day the only one that I needed was volume 16 but I'm so glad that that finally came